Hello, Dr. Crowley, and welcome to Case of the Day. Today we're going to talk about a uh, case that came in, so uh, which is a pretty common problem actually, and we're going to discuss what's commonly known as pink eye, or uh, medically called conjunctivitis. So what is pink eye or conjunctivitis? So it basically is an infection of their outer coating of your eye. That is, there's an outer coating that covers over the white part of your eye that contains the blood vessels. So this white part has these blood vessels in it and it's called the conjunctiva. The white part of your eye is called the sclera and the coating that goes over the outside of that is called the conjunctiva which has the blood vessels. So the outside coating gets infected and it um, is very common and, and can be fairly contagious though um, it's typically not as contagious in most cases as say a cold uh, because you're not coughing things into the air with your with your conjunctivitis obviously um, and there are a couple of causes for conjunctivitis the most common cause is a virus typically even a, a, a what's called an adenovirus and so the eye gets red the blood vessels on the surface of your eye get engorged or red when it becomes infected. Uh, your eye itches, you may have discharge, your eye may water. Usually your vision is not affected too much with conjunctivitis because uh, the cornea, the clear part is not affected with just plain pink eye or conjunctivitis. So your vision is usually not affected other than if your eye is watering a lot, then that watering will blur your vision because you don't have a normal tear film across your cornea. Um, and typically, um, this is a self-limited disease really, just like a common cold is, but a lot of people are uncomfortable and so we do commonly treat this with antibiotic eye drops, sometimes with a combination cortisone and antibiotic eye drop, because the cortisone calms the eye down and makes it more comfortable, and this helps especially in people who have a, who have a viral conjunctivitis that cuts down on their itching, so their eyes are more comfortable and not as red while they have this infection going on. It doesn't shorten the process necessarily because if it is a virus, uh, obviously an antibiotic is not going to work. We try not to use too many antibiotics because, uh, which you may have heard uh, through TV and news releases, that if you keep using antibiotics when there's not even a bacteria there, what bacteria are laying around that not really cause any infection get resistant to the antibiotics. So you want to be a little careful about our use of those. Um, and so typically uh, if someone has a more purulent discharge, that if the discharge is more cloudy or milky or yellowish or greenish discharge, then that typically more is a bacteria cause in the conjunctivitis. Someone who has a more watery discharge typically has a viral conjunctivitis. So then if you get treated, typically you're on an eye drop four times a day unless it's something really unusual and pretty quickly the conjunctivitis is resolved. Uh, you do need to be careful about sanitation. So that is washcloths, bath towels, those kind of things you want to keep away from your family members or anyone else. Uh, and you don't want to get everybody else uh, with a pink eye as well in your house. And so you need to be a little careful about that and wash your hands and keep your hands other than when you put the drops in your eyes away from your eye and when you do use the medicine obviously you want to wash your hands after you put the drop in and then gently take a Kleenex dab your eye off and then throw that Kleenex away uh, so if you have any questions about what we discussed about pink eye which is a very common eye infection then you always can try to contact us through the website if not may God bless you with healthy eyes and great vision